Greetings and salutations, internet friends, and welcome back to another episode of the First Time Film Club. My name is Emily, your titular first timer. This is Matthew, my husband, Cinema Sherpa, and special Patreon watch along viewer submitted title Gizmo's Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> it is appropriate. It's super appropriate. As I said, I have an, have an old soul. You do. You do have an old soul. I feel like a grandpa. <laughs> yeah. So, Mochi, thank you so much for um, leaving that title. Uh, and, of course, the most important person, yes, it's Pippin. He's our cat. He's adorable. He likes to nap. Um, sometimes he naps up here and sometimes he naps on the floor. So, if he disappears, that's where he went. For those of you joining us for the first time, hello. Welcome. We are watching our way through a very long list of movies. Uh, that typically I've never seen, but that Matthew has. Today is one of our special monthly watch-alongs that we do with some of our patrons. Mm -hmm. um, so we are recording this live in front of a virtual audience. And um, Matthew, what is the movie that we're watching tonight? Uh, tonight we are watching the 1990 comedy horror Gremlins to the New Batch. As per usual, I give you the name, genre, and year. You go in with whatever you already know, we watch the movie, and then we review it. So, what do you know about Gremlins 2? I know that it's the sequel to Gremlins 1. Yep. I'm doing <laughs> great. Uh, I don't know the premise, I don't know who's in it. I actively did not look at the uh, movie poster longer than I, than I had to. Um, I just wanted to be surprised. So I have no clue what's going on. Uh, but the most important thing is, if you guys recall from the Gremlins 1 video, I made a very... Which is very recent. Very recent and very reasonable request. I asked for a Mogwai. And guess what? Not only did I get a Mogwai, I got two! <laughs> two little gizmos. So Matthew got me this gizmo and he actually sings and dances and it's adorable. Uh, and then our friend Charlie sent us uh, the little bitty guy. So we've got two, two gizmos and I couldn't be happier. Gremlins, gizmos, mogwais. I'm here for it. Okay. <laughs> All right. The only other thing for first time viewers, you may see me with my phone in my hand at some point during the movie. That's because I'm taking notes on things to talk about afterwards. Uh, that being said, I'm ready to watch Gremlins 2. Watch up, Doug. Mm -hmm. What's up? I'm taking charge here. That's what's up. 50 years of you hugging the spotlight. Poor Daffy. He oh gets no gosh. respect. Young Matthew loved us so much. <laughs> Christopher Lee? <laughs> Rick Baker. He uh, did the design of the gremlins in this one. The uh, clamp? Chinatown Center, where business gets oriented. <laughs> now, Mr. Wing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, please tell Mr. Clamp that the answer is still no. Keep the TV. TV! <laughs> Rambo! <laughs> Guess we should watch that. Yep, we'll get to it. I kind of wish it was a UHF version of Rambo. <laughs> nice. Six weeks later. <laughs> Gonna give him the clamps! <laughs> Oh. Oh no! Save him. Oh, look at his little feet! Oh crap! <laughs> this thing is cute as crap. <laughs> if you want to find something weird, you have to go downtown. Oh no! Leave him alone. Wow, Mr. Futterman must really be getting better if he can travel. Oh. His wife says he is getting better. He was just kind of rattled. He is a lot. Yeah. He was almost killed. He was almost killed. <laughs> Welcome to the Clamp Entry Matic, a revolution in revolving door precision and efficiency. Uh-huh. Yep. It's what you get, you deck. <laughs> Clamp Premier Regency Office Center, where one man's dream Oof. became a reality. What? 
I hope you enjoyed today. What tour. is? And don't forget. What's going on up there, honey? It's a building hat. It looks like somebody hasn't read his employee manual. What now? Oh. Unauthorized potted plant. Possible aphid infestation. Oh. And that's Kingston Falls. Do you know how much the Clamp organization has spent to provide its employees with art by recognized? His comment about the art was a dick move, <laughs> but I actually understand about the plant thing. <laughs> Having worked in museums, I get that. I love Robert Picardo. You'll get to know Robert Picardo later on. Oh. Listen, I heard about your new time slot. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. First thing, I think they're making a big mistake. Ah, frankly, kid. This isn't what I had in mind. Yeah, I thought I was gonna do news. Something meaningful. I mean... I love shows like this. I was just gonna <laughs> say... The tenants they have in here now? There's a research laboratory upstairs. Genetic research. Splice, Splice of, of life. life. <laughs> nice. Can I help you? Oh, hey! That dude looks familiar. <laughs> Oh, Dr. Catheter, this just came for you. Oh, splendid. This must be my malaria. <laughs> malaria? Oh, Lord. Just rabies. Just rabies! I've got rabies. <laughs> Ew! Ew! Oh, man wants some fresh germs. This, the sound design is already like, oof! Uh, excuse me. That music, where did you hear it? I was up in that, uh, laboratory, and somebody was, like, humming it. Gizmo, let me hear it. Ah! Not Gizmo. <laughs> He's gonna get caught. <laughs> How you doing? Did you miss me? Oh. Gizmo, what are you doing here? What, what were oh, those yeah. guys doing to you? Just coming for vacation. Wow, that bad, huh? <laughs> Shit! Gizmo, you have got to be quiet. Get down there and don't say anything, and I'll come back and take you home as soon as possible. It's him! He's here! <laughs> oh, God, no! <laughs> Excellent. Isn't that terrific? That's warmth. I like warmth. That's what we need here. People who produce, huh? huh. This is very big, Billy, for both of us. I love her brooch. That's fantastic. It's a very chic new restaurant. It's Canadian. They clean the fish right at your table. Oh, no! <laughs> Gizmo, that's not saying put. Oh, Gizmo. Stop! <laughs> Resourceful. Gizmo's here, and... That he... furry thing? Listen, there, there is some good news. What? You get to take him home. <laughs> Billy! <laughs> no! <laughs> Let's say the guy goes to the bathroom for 30 seconds. A man's earning $375. What can he do? Can he fix an elevator? Ah! Going to the company. <laughs> I love that. Gomez. Because that is Gomez from the TV show The Adam's Family. Oh! I learned a thing. Ah! Move! Ah! Run away! <laughs> Days are done. Ah! Oh no. Tried to hide, y'all. He tried to be a good boy. It says, "Dad, give it." <laughs> Not again. <laughs> I don't remember them being bouncy. Oh, just you wait. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? <laughs> Oh. Oh, we going full tilt, huh? <laughs> Just you wait. The owner of the car with license number one, please remove it from the clamp parking garage. Your car is old and dirty. <laughs> oh, I love the voiceovers. Your car is old and dirty. They said to take you home, so I'm just... Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna put you in my purse till we get out of the building, okay? I know you're so hyper. No. Well, I always knew that I liked to draw. I remember when I was a kid, I was wow. I want to go to this, this big restaurant oh. so badly. The servers are Mounties. This is our favorite Canadian dessert, the chocolate mousse. Can I shut come up? Another? <laughs> <laughs> I just, uh, I'm 
kind of in a hurry. I'm sorry about your, That's okay. your shoe or your no, second. <gasps> no. See you tomorrow. Yeah, great. How about some horn? She was trying to go. I was going to say. <laughs> Mashed potatoes. <laughs> oh, God. You need to get that baby some Stratera, some Ritalin, something. Kate, where did you find this guy? In your office, what you said. And this is not Gizmo. <laughs> oh, surprise! Oh. Don't people care about that anymore? See, Murray, like... remember what Dr. Kaplan said. <laughs> We're going to be nice and calm. <laughs> the clamp entry matic doors are being operated by top technicians oh, to serve you better. Top men. <laughs> Hold it! Hold it right there! Get the hell out of there! That's a restricted area! Yeah. Let's have a look at that yeah. now. <laughs> oh, God! Oh, what? Oh, hi. Last night was so wonderful. Uh, Marla, this is Kate. This is my. Oh, my girl. goodness, I have to go right away. Cute bat. Oh, no. Sir, you've got to evacuate the Not building. The suit, please. Evacuate the building? Why is that? <laughs> there are creatures in it, sir. Creatures. They start out as these small furry animals, and then what happens is they eat after midnight. They metamorphose, and they form these cocoons. You remember in the first movie when I asked you what you thought about the rules? I told you they covered it in the second one. Okay, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Uh, what if one of them eats something at 11 o'clock, but then he gets something stuck in his teeth? Yeah, like a caraway seed or a sesame seed. Whatever. Oh, right, right. And then, yeah. oh they're making fun. There you go. Ha <laughs> ha. What if they're eating in an airplane and they cross a time zone? I mean, it's always midnight somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Shit! What the damn? Before we had microwaves, this used to take forever. Now, we can make the same tuna noodle. <laughs> tuna noodle. <laughs> Marge, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! What is that? Why is it a donkey? What's happened? Jesus! Whoa. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. Forster, the pest infestation monitor is reading critical. <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> I don't believe I'd be using an elevator. Elevator, stop! Sound alarm. <laughs> Class flowers. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> no! Gremlins, though I really can't imagine why. What? What? <laughs> a moviegoer so desperate for entertainment that this kind of trash and has for fun. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Oh, I just did it. Oh, okay, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> you know how I've been working on making these tomatoes tougher for when they ship them? Oh my gosh. It's eating my vegetable medley. <laughs> I trust that's not the brain hormone that that creature's drinking. We going full on Looney Tunes, huh? I mean, okay. that's what we opened with. You're right. You are correct, sir. I <laughs> Talk a little bit about what's going on in this room, because I think there are some fascinating ramifications here for the future. For example, that fellow over near the, um, common bat. Cause why not? Cause why not? Ah, oh, genetic oh. sunblock. That will be of crucial usefulness where you will be going. <laughs> oh, I got a 
follow him. Yep. I got to tell you, these gremlins are decidedly less cute than the first ones. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's back. <laughs> Love the voiceovers. What a oh. All right, New York. Okay, I know y'all seen some shit, but come on now. Oh, good. I'm glad that he got to conquer his shenanigans. Got that old school Hanna Barbera screech. Oh, a gargoyle. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> They're real, I saw them. I know, I've seen them too. But where? In my laboratory. No? Words of life. Y'all. <laughs> Just did like a full on meta fourth <laughs> wall. When he learned about Lincoln, but <laughs> what did he say? Nudie volleyball hog. Oh, yes, nudie, nudie, nudie. <laughs> they refuse to show the rest of the film. All they want to see is Snow White, the seven dwarfs, gremlins in this theater. People pay good money to see this movie, they want cold sodas, hot popcorn, and no monsters in the projection booth. Sorry, folks. It won't happen again. <laughs> what? You act as if something strange just happened. All right. Well, this movie officially has everything. The police department is talking about some sort of green creature. Unfortunately, police are not permitting any news media inside the building at this time. Oh, it's your turn. It's your turn, Fred or Frank or whatever your name is. It's your turn, Vampa. <laughs> 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 I'll give you a thumbs up for that Thanks. One. That was a lightning bolt. Do not throw in face. Explicitly <laughs> ask you not to. Be. <laughs> New cosplay right there. Oh, of course. It's fun. I love it. I love the light. <laughs> They're just great. It's very scientific. You gotta become more. Oh my god, Rambo! You just had to do a little training first. It's okay. Don't worry. Oh. Well, that's nice. <laughs> He's in the phone system on hold. He's on hold. <laughs> I thought this would never run. Because of the end of civilization, <laughs> Planet Cable Network now leaves the air. We hope you have enjoyed our programming. <laughs> this is art imitating life. There's a real message like that. Is there any way that we could possibly turn all the clocks ahead in the building, say three hours? Sunlight kills these things. If we can fool them into thinking that the sun has actually gone down. Oh. Clever boy. Would you like me to bang away on it in the dark? Is that it? Oh, oh no. Oh no. This is new. This is new. Are we making a bow and arrow? Yes. Yes. That one of these creatures is somehow able to talk, and he's going to talk with us. The creature, what is it that you want? What everyone wants, and what you and your viewers have. Civilization. What is this accent? Don't worry about it. Sophisticated. Oh. Intellectual. Mm. You take a look at this fellow here. <laughs> oh! 
Now, was that civilized? Now, was that civilized? No, clearly not. Fun, Fun. but in no sense civilized. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, this inspired a generation of nightmares, like kids being afraid of the dentist. Listen, about Billy. I did have designs on him. I didn't get to first base, okay? It'll do. <laughs> yeah, let's stand and scream about it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> With the bandana. Got him. What happened to him? He got ripped. I don't know. I guess they pushed him too far. <laughs> and then Gizmo had to push back. Lincoln didn't get Please. What's wrong? Oh, don't mention Lincoln. Something terrible happened to me when you were on Lincoln's birthday. I was six or seven, and I this bet. man looked just like Abe Lincoln. Honey, I really don't think we've got time for this now, you know? He, I remember, Come oh, on. God. He said, hello, little girl. Not another dark story. <laughs> <laughs> I really do appreciate that this movie is just 1,000% a satire parody of itself, you know, oh, yeah. like... Start spreading the news. I'm leaving today. You didn't think there wouldn't be a musical number, I right? had only hoped and prayed. I didn't know if I was going to be that lucky. In a few seconds, Mr. Clam's going to drop that cloth, and then the sunlight's going to come in. Shit. <laughs> There's a fire hose around the corner. I want you to find it and aim it into the lobby, okay? There's a call on hold in Mr. Clam's office. Is there any way that you can transfer it down here without going up there? Hit it! Oh! <laughs> Looks like you bailed us out here. It wasn't just me, sir. We all chipped in. Marla, you work for me, don't you? <laughs> yes, sir. Very, very hard. No. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. What's this? It's, it's our hometown. It's. It's Clamp Corners, where life slows down to a crawl. What do you think? Uh, I, it's, it's terrific. It's, it's fun. It's great. We'll workshop it. What's that? This is Gizmo. I look at him. You know what I see? Dolls with suction cups staring out car windows. A big float in the Macy's Day Parade. Has anybody ever talked to you about merchandising? Merchandising. <laughs> well, I don't know. Not too long. We'll do what we can, Forster. Just keep your pants on. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Where'd she get a wedding dress confused? Doesn't matter. <laughs> I love the gremlin chorus. <laughs> yeah, you're kind of cute. <laughs> Ooh. So that was Gremlins 2, the new batch. Uh, Normally, I would ask you your overall thoughts, but before we do that, I want to show you one more thing. Mm -hmm. You know Key and Peele. We watch our show a lot. They did a sketch about the brainstorming uh, writing session for Gremlins 2, mm -hmm. and I want you to see that uh, before we get into the discussion. So, okay. I got that pulled up, and so we're going to watch that real quick. Okay. Okay, guys. Gremlins 2. First one was a classic. This should be pretty straightforward. Let me introduce myself. Hi, y'all. My name is Star Magic Jackson Jr. Yes, it I'm is. Hollywood sequel doctor. So studio just brings sequel me doctor. in to oversee things when they about to drop a deuce. <laughs> you know, don't mind me. I'm just going to be over here. Y'all do your thing. What if uh, Gizmo gets wet from a water cooler this time? OK, hold on a second. Y'all looking like a bunch of sad sacks. <laughs> it's G2, people. We write in Gremlins too. It should be a party. What if we did this? Everybody here gets to design their own Gremlin. Yeah, okay. All right. 
None of this is final. What if there was like a brainy gremlin? You talking about a gremlin with glasses who could talk and sing New York, New York? That's. I'm leaving today. It's done. I love it. It's in the movie now. <laughs> Spider gremlin? You mean a gremlin with eight legs and a thorax just catching pretty ladies in a web in an office building? Oh my god, it's in the movie. I love it! <laughs> bat gremlin. You mean a gremlin with leathery wings just flying around, flip-flopping, bust through a wall, make a perfect bat symbol in the wall, get outside, get in some wet concrete, jump up on a building that just dry in place like a gargoyle gremlin. <laughs> we are cooking with gas now. I love it, it's in the movie net. <laughs> Female gremlin. Lipstick boobies, bitch, you have me a little gremlin, but JJ. I <laughs> no. A googly eyed gremlin? Gremlin who's so purpose in this film, it's just that he looks stupid as. Oh, electricity gremlin? You just said noun and gremlin, like a game, madness. You just like a child. You have the brain of a child. <laughs> With a gremlin that's just made out of bolts that are zigzagging all over the room and is done completely in animation, you a crazy person, and your idea's in the movie! <laughs> Can we put the Hulkster in it? What?! You talking about putting Hulk Hogan in the movie where he break the fourth wall of the movie he's in by talking to the audience? <laughs> you, sir, are a raging psychopath. <laughs> I'm gonna throw in a gremlin myself. Vegetable gremlin. Jesus Christ. <laughs> now I gotta go put some cowboys in Back to the Future 3. Say it all, y'all. You guys know that none of that is gonna be in the actual movie. It's all in there. It's all in there. <laughs> all of that is in the actual movie. Okay, so. Wanted you to see that. Yep. But now, overall <laughs> thoughts on the movie. Look, listen, okay. this was <laughs> this was a treat, okay? You came into it, they had no qualms about telling you right up front, like, this is a joke, okay? This is like, we're not taking this seriously. We are just going all in on the laws, okay? Yeah, um, the, the opening with the Looney Tunes cartoon was very deliberate to set the, set the tone. tone for yeah. the movie. Um, so I, you know, love that. It went so cartoony. Like it went real. All of the, the, the sound design and the, you know, the boing, 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 There were certain parts like that, that damn damn donkey looking gremlin weirded me out i didn't care for it out of all the gremlins he's the one that he's you, the one okay he's the one i don't know why this was this was fun this is a good time <laughs> <laughs> that's my overall thought it's your overall yeah thought? okay <laughs> well the reason i wanted you to see that key and peel sketch is because uh they did that and joe dante talked to them oh <gasps> I'm sure he's like half-heartedly joking, but he said that is completely accurate. <laughs> he's like, it's exactly how it happened. I'm sure he was, like I said, half-heartedly joking, but I don't think he was fully joking mm -hmm. because uh, Warner Brothers really wanted to make a sequel. Mm -hmm. You know, they wanted to cash in. Gremlins was a surprise hit. Uh, they wanted Joe Dante to come back and do it, but he had had enough Gremlins. <laughs> he was like, no, I'm good. And they had all these ideas. They were trying, and they were trying to get uh, stories written, but they really couldn't figure out what to do with it. Mm -hmm. So they went back to Joe Dante again, desperately, and we're like, look, <laughs> if, if you give us, if you can make this movie by this date, you can do whatever you want. And that's what happened. <laughs> so he said, oh, okay. <laughs> All right. That also is how they got Rick Baker. You saw his name pop mm -hmm. up. He at first uh, turned it down. He didn't want to do it. The original designer of the Gremlins, uh, Chris, Chris Wayless. I'm not sure what he was working on time, but he was unavailable. Mm -hmm. So they asked Rick to come in. He didn't want to do it because he said, you know, he he said it was too much work for something that he didn't create. Yeah. He was just picking up where someone else left off. But Joe Dante was like, we're doing whatever we want. So you're going to design all the gremlins. You get to yeah. you go as far as you want. <laughs> you want a vegetable, vegetable gremlin? You get the vegetable gremlin. I can't say vegetable. vegetable. <laughs> this movie is bonkers in the best possible oh, way yeah. like this was my childhood i'll probably watch the second one more than the first one as a child because yeah. like it's a live action cartoon so like it's I, very zany and and like 
I honestly am kind of glad that I've seen this as an adult because I would have missed so many of the references. Um, I know I would have enjoyed it as a child, but oh my god, the, like the the whole fourth wall break and like making fun of itself, the Lincoln's birthday part. Oh my <laughs> god, that shit is yeah, hilarious. The, the meta humor, the like satirizing. The, the rules and yeah. oh god like that all came about because uh, from what I read like the filmmakers himself Joe Dante and thought the rules were yeah it's it's a movie like, yeah it's Stop. they thought they were kind of silly and plus there was also after the first movie came out people kind of <laughs> picked it apart yeah and just and that's how that a lot of that conversation in the control room there yeah. they were all like <laughs> questioning the rules like that's, these, those that's were just conversations they overheard after people watched yes. the first gremlins movie like that's in where, the lobby of the theater that's where a lot of that uh, a lot of those lines came from were from actual like <laughs> conversations uh again the opening cartoon the looney tunes uh, warner brothers they actually uh somehow got chuck jones to come out of retirement to direct and do this he was creator slash co-creator of Bugs, yeah. Daffy, Barney, right? just too many to name. Yeah. Uh, speaking also of Looney Tunes, a lot of the a lot of the like uh, burps and hiccups and things mm -hmm. were archived sounds from Mel Blank who did the voices. I love that! <laughs> I mean, obviously, you know, we heard the Wilhelm, uh, but there were a lot of little sound um, sound effects and, and different cues and stuff that I was like oh I've, I've heard that before like that's my childhood sound effect right there mm -hmm. so yeah I really really appreciate that oh, and speaking of these uh, the creature designs mm -hmm. uh, just FYI there's a, a store out in California called the prop shop or the prop store I can't remember which one it's called now but uh, they auction off a lot of like film props oh. and stuff that were used and Adam Savage of course who also has a he has a YouTube channel it's really awesome it's called Adam Savage is tested mm -hmm. I would highly recommend checking it out super cool yeah he does a lot of uh, like fabrication builds lightsabers uh, he built a Leviathan axe from uh, God of War he does a lot of stuff but he also regularly goes Collects. over to the prop shop and he uh, did a video where they were looking at some of the uh, things, some of the props and gremlins that were made on this movie, and a lot of them were auctioned off, and they were telling a story about how, for whenever it's like gremlin or a puppet on its own, mm -hmm. like with no humans in the scene, mm -hmm. about double the scale, so they can get more detail, gotcha. more articulation, mm -hmm. and that spider gremlin, he said they had about like an eight foot like wide spider gremlin oh for the movie. Oh my god, no. They actually auctioned that one off. <laughs> That's nightmare fuel. Sorry, I'm just imagining coming over to the person's house who owns that gremlin and like not knowing that it's there, just coming around the corner and there's like an eight foot spider gremlin. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> I want it. <laughs> the broadcast that he does for like, you know, the world is ending. I like, hope you've enjoyed it. Yeah. That is a real life thing. It was put into the movie after Joe Dante and the, and the crew found out it was a real thing. CNN, Ted Turner, whenever the network went live, they played the national anthem. He said, mm -hmm. they're gonna play it twice, when they go live and when they go off the air. And then he's, he came up with the idea of a end of the world scenario. He wanted something to broadcast. So they created a like, inspirational kind of hopeful <laughs> yeah so it's called the the turner doomsday video it is a real thing i don't like it the the section with the movie critic leonard malton <laughs> who was playing himself he is a real life like movie i was critic. wondering i was and like, he is a friend of joe dante oh, okay he was on a podcast show called doug loves movies doug mm -hmm. benson mm -hmm really great podcast talking about movies and he had Leonard Malton on and he was telling the story he had just started entertainment tonight and he was not a fan of the gremlins movie and he was like I was put in a very unfortunate situation of having to go out there and be honest and basically you know say that I didn't like this movie that were my they friend... friends at the time yes oh friends. let me go shit on my friend's work okay <laughs> which it wasn't too bad uh he said that uh that the movie was filled with uh, film buff in jokes, but that's negated by too much violence and mayhem. So, whenever they made Gremlins 2, they called him up and told him the deal, like the Gremlins are going crazy in the yeah. TV network and yeah. they're gonna get into a film critic's office and kinda, you know, kill him. <laughs> you know, 
Smell. Yeah, when he got there, Joe Dante, <laughs> he said that he told him, ah, just use your own words. He was like, so he wanted me to review his movie again and give it a bad review again <laughs> so then the gremlins could kill me. <laughs> Listen. He's okay. like, well, I think I owe you that. Yeah, I was just saying, like, fair is fair, okay? <laughs> it parodies itself. It satirizes itself. Best in joke of the one where they're about to do another Phoebe Cates. Oh, God, that was... Dark like, story. That one, honestly, was the thing that caught me probably the most off guard that I found so funny. Like, I was so appreciative of that like when i actually realized what was happening <laughs> oh there was the that whole section where like the gremlins are getting into the theater mm -hmm. and like destroying the movie and refusing to play the rest of the movie that whole like meta humor the studio wanted that cut because they were, oh, they yeah. thought it might confuse audiences oh, well, i'm certain that it did <laughs> no uh according to test audiences it tested very well okay. people loved it okay and but it did, however, cause a issue when the movie went to home video because they kind of re-edited it to make it look like a VCR was malfunctioning. Oh, no, no. And there were reports of people like bringing the tape back saying like the tape is broken and, you know, <laughs> something's wrong with it. VCR! <laughs> with the D, oh, the moose, the chocolate moose. Oh, oh yeah. God, please tell me that that's a real restaurant. I want to go there. Sure, there is some kind of Canadian themed restaurant somewhere. Sola! Is that what all restaurants are like in Canada? <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and say no. I'm, 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 yep. oh. <laughs> I stand I'm corrected. Not. I'm a fool. <laughs> you fool. You fool. I, I'll go ahead and say this. I probably like the first Gremlins more, but I think I appreciate this one more. As I've gotten older, I flip-flopped. Oh, really? Yeah, as a kid, I loved the second one uh -huh. because it's, like yeah. I said, a live action yeah. cartoon. It's just, it's more gremlins, it's cranked up to 11, yeah. it's crazy, it's zany, it's, you know, everything. But as I've gotten older, I flip flopped and I, pref I prefer the first one, yeah. but I mean, it's still close. I still love the second one because, again, there's a huge nostalgia component and it's just, it's part of my childhood. Yeah, I appreciate what this movie is, but given the option, I would watch the first one again, you know, given, you know choice between the two that's a lot of that we just covered in conversation and a lot of the uh, backstory stuff is there any other parts you wanted to talk about or anything in particular i know there's a lot like the <laughs> this movie has like a gag a second like there's so many in jokes this is like references airplane level yeah ga gaggetry that's <laughs> that's a word don't worry about it we had Christopher Lee in it. Yeah, it's like, I, I'm over here, like, stefaning it. This movie had everything. <laughs> it had Christopher Lee. It had a girl gremlin. It had a vegetable gremlin. <laughs> this movie is bonkers. Can you pick a favorite part? Or, I know your least favorite part was the donkey. <laughs> for whatever reason. <laughs> I don't know why okay. bothered me. Honestly, the Phoebe Cates. Like, the story, the link is... I don't know why, but it got me so hard. Like, that shit's clever. Like, it's funny. And yeah, and it's the movie not taking itself seriously yes. and poking fun at itself. Like, yeah, I just. It's predecessor. I just really appreciate that. That's probably my favorite. What about you? Any favorites? Uh, yeah, too, there's too many to name. Like, <laughs> as I've gotten older and I've gotten more references, I love things. Like, uh, whenever, uh, whenever Gizmo sees the janitor, he says, Gomez. I, like, <laughs> I love little, little parts like that. The whole Rambo. The the training failure montage. First off, like that hit different because that was essentially just me in the gym. <laughs> That's what that was. You felt a little scene. I felt a little scene. If there was one thing I would change about the movie, I don't know why. I would just love if when he turned on the video, the TV in the beginning, and you saw Rambo, if it was a UHF version of Rambo. Oh, yeah, that would have been great. Yeah, BT Dubs, if y'all don't know. If you Spatula noticed, City. Spatula City. Spatula City. Thank you so much to Motu. One of our awesome, awesome viewers he sent this to me. Yes, uh, but that's, that's pretty much all I've got. Is there anything else you wanted to talk about, or you want to go into ratings? Let's go ahead into ratings. For reference, okay. Uh, you gave Gremlins one and eight. Thank you. I gave it an eight point five. Okay. So, I'm gonna give this one a seven point nine. Okay. It okay. falls just under the original Gremlins for me. Yeah. 
Uh, eight for me. Okay. 8.5 for the first one, 8 for the second one. Okay. Yeah, like I said, I've kind of flip-flopped as I've gotten older. I prefer the first one, but the second one is still extremely close. Exactly. That's, that's because, why because it's 7.9. Takes a, um, Pippin, what would you rate it? Mm, 10. 10 beans. Is that his voice? <laughs> that's the voice I just gave him. Feeling that his voice is more like hedonism by from Futurama. <laughs> That's Pippin. Ten beans. I regret nothing. I apologize for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, guys, this was a lot of fun. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you have any fun behind the scenes information, any fun tidbits, any gags that we missed, you know. Real quick, I just saw a Motu message says Pippin talks like the brain gremlin. Uh, just a side note, I don't know if he auditioned for it or they just went after him for it, but uh, Tim Curry was almost the brainy gremlin <gasps> voice. Well, that would have ended up being it, it ended up being Tony Randall, which is great. Uh, but yeah, I can't remember if they offered it to him or if he auditioned for it. I'm not sure the backstory. I just remember that uh, Tim Curry was almost the voice of oh. the brainy gremlin. Oh, that would have oh. swoon. <laughs> <laughs> um, what would you rate it? How does it rank between this and the uh, first one? If you like the video, please make sure to like the video <laughs> if you haven't already subscribed please do so i'm all done yeah, Pippin's I'm good. staring off into the abyss i am happy <laughs> this is, don't tell people about my abyss okay <laughs> it's mine okay guys thank y'all so much for hanging out hope you all have a wonderful day happy new year yes we'll see you next time with another first time bye <laughs>